Protesters were clearly not welcome at the European Defence Agency annual conference in Brussels. Activists say the event brings together arms dealers, policy makers and politicians, while civil society representatives are banned. Fighting for people, not for war. Police detained campaigners using cable ties. A large banner in windows opposite the conference was removed before it could be unveiled. The activists claim the event is effectively held in secret. This is just unacceptable. The European Union has to have a democratic European defence policy and should not be led by the interest of the arms lobby. Protesters are opposed to the billions of euro being spent creating an EU army and also the huge increase in spending by EU countries on NATO. These protesters say it is wrong that EU countries are spending so much on arms given that 113 million people in the EU are living on or below the poverty line. That's according to the EU's own agency, Eurostat. It's an incredible 22.5% of the bloc's entire population. The EU is regularly described as a peace project by the bloc's executive arm, the European Commission. We raised the concerns of protesters with the Commission. In terms of a war machine or an EU army, is that important in order to preserve peace? Well, it would seem to me that uh, security is an, uh, an important aspect of maintaining and safeguarding peace, indeed. Campaigners are calling for a ban on arms sales from EU nations to Saudi Arabia. They say the kingdom is waging an atrocious war on Yemen. They also claim the Saudi regime is effectively facing no sanction over the death of journalist Jamal Khashoggi because, they assert, the West is more concerned with profit than moral values. Jerome Hughes, Press TV, Brussels.